everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is my summer TBR. So summer is approaching already, spring felt surprisingly short, not just because we kind of went from winter to summer but just the time like I can't believe we're already in May approaching June like approaching the summer months which is amazing I cannot wait the weather has warmed up quite a bit but not quite to the temperature that I love it so anyway let's talk about the books so I have a list of just a few books that I want to focus on this summer this is not going to be enough books for me to read over the summer. I will still have monthly TBRs and whatnot. These are just some books you can expect to see me reading over the months of summer for one reason or another. So to start off, I am going to talk about the rest of the Hunt of the Grimalkin series. Uh, it's a trilogy with a companion novel and so I really want to get these done. They're just short fantasy stories that, I don't know, I think this is the kind of fantasy that's nice for summer. I feel like it's really hard to read fantasy in the summer for me just because the covers of fantasy is, are so dark that I don't gravitate towards it. So when it so when it comes to summer month and it's warmer and I want to wear bright colors and surrounded by bright colors, I don't generally turn to fantasy just because it's not brightly colored all the time. Um, but I think these will be a good summer fantasy and they're nice and short so I can easily read them pretty quickly. And then I also have the Emperor's Blade by Brian Stavely. I think that's how you say it, I'm not completely sure. Um, but this was a fantasy gifted to me. It's, it's very much assassin high politics style fantasy, so I will give this a try. I'm not, I don't know, I'm just gonna see where it takes me. I don't have high expectations. I don't wanna say I have low expectations, but I'm, I'm hoping to be surprised by this one. And then I have Touch, which is by Cheryl Kahn, and this was actually sent to me by the author. Just, I will give still an honest opinion and an honest review of it, but she thought it might be a book that I would enjoy, and I agree. So, and so the little tagline is, touch her and you'll both burn, which is quite intriguing because it sounds like, like there have been fantasies where the main character can't touch things because something bad will happen, like, Girl Serpent Thorn, or um, what's the other one with the, like a poison touch? I don't know. But this makes it sound like she will also suffer consequences, which I am very intrigued about. So I will hopefully pick this one up sooner rather than later. And then the final fantasy that I have on this list is Aleph the Unseen, and this is by G. Willow Wilson. And this is, I think it's going to be more of a desert fantasy. I know it has gin in it. I know our main character works in tech, but there's gin, and that's the pure reason why I am reading this book is because of the gin, and so that's that's what makes me think it'll be kind of deserty. But again, also it's got bright colors. It's a fantasy with bright yellow, so I'm also very happy about that, and hopefully I will get to it this coming summer. There are a couple other desert fantasies that I want to get to that I don't own, but it really depends. I'm going to be very picky with them because I would love to read like City of Brass and An Ember of the Ashes, but I want to make sure I have the whole series readily available so I can just go one to the other. So it really depends on my libraries and how I can get them. Um, so they're not officially on this TBR, but just so you know, I'm also looking into more desert fantasies uh, to read this summer because I do want to read more fantasy. I've been in a fantasy mood lately. So if you have any suggestions on desert fantasy or good summer fantasy, please comment them down below so that I can know and I can give them a try. And while you're down there, how about you just hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell to be notified. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. Now I also have a bunch of contemporaries that I would like to read this coming summer. First one being Sway With Me. I was hoping to read this back in February, but I didn't quite get to it. And this is by Syed M. Masood. And I know this is a South Asian inspired uh, contemporary romance. I believe it's YA. The summary was a little confusing, but I was intrigued because I'm pretty sure at matchmaking and dancing 
are involved. So I am intrigued to read this. Speaking of dancing, the other contemporary I have is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon or Nicola Yoon. I have heard people pronounce it both ways and I'm not sure which one is right, but I've had this on my shelf for quite a while. It is an arc that I got from a friend and so I just, it's this short, brightly colored contemporary romance about dancing. Yeah, I, I want to read it this summer. And then the last two books that I want to read this summer are both Emily Henry books. They are People We Meet on Vacation and Book Lovers. I read her book Beach Read at the very end of summer. Really, it was early fall last year and I loved it and it was a great summer read. So I'm hoping that these will also live up to it. So People We Meet on Vacation is Friends to Lovers, which is not generally one of my favorites. Um, whereas book lovers like Be Beach Read are enemies to lovers, which is one of my favorites. So I'm excited. I will read this book first before I read this book, just so I read them in the order that they come out. Yeah, so I'm really excited to read these. These will probably happen more at the beginning of summer because I'm just so excited. So yes, those are all the books that I really want to read this summer. Of course, like I said, there will be more books month to month that I will be reading, maybe because I got them on audio or I just heard about them or I go to the library, who knows, but this is my physical TBR, the books I'm going to read that I own. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Like I said before, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you've read any of the books, what your opinions on them were. Also, check in the description below because I do have bookish social media that I post to fairly frequently so you can catch up with what I'm reading there. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays and until I see you on the next video, I wish you happy reading!